good Sunday morning. I'm sitting here. Got up early and I'm trying to contemplate all we've been through this week. This is a very strange and odd time for all of us. My prayer for you is that you all have food and toilet paper. Um, but most of all, I pray that you are connecting with your Creator, the one who loves you and the one who made you. Yesterday I felt extremely sad and I think it's because Sundays to me are so important. I have been going to church for a really long time, pretty much all my life, but the true connection for me is being able to see my friends' faces and give them a hug and receive that hug and that connection from them and to be in a group of people praising the Lord all at the same time and also hearing the word taught and uh, preached is just so refreshing to my soul and so today I'll be doing that by way of um online services, which I'm very grateful for that we have the technology to do this instead of being stuck in our home with no connection. We have that connection. Um, I'm grateful that my family is healthy and safe. Uh, I personally don't know anybody who is sick. We do have um, more cases, but I personally don't know anybody, so I'm praying for everyone involved that this COVID, Corona, Chinese, whatever virus you want to call it, is stopped right now in Jesus' name, and that we all would use this time to spend with the ones close to us that we can be with and also get to know who loves us and uh, has created us. The promise that I have that really helped me a lot during my cancer treatment was Romans 8:28, and that's that God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And I pray that you love him and you hear that call, that you're called according to his purpose. And I think he wants that for every one of us. I know that some of you don't know Jesus um, and he was the most perfect payment for everything that we have done wrong or ever will do wrong. So if you're feeling guilty about your life or guilty about something you've done, know that he has the cure to that. He has the cure to condemnation and shame. And uh, without that, honestly, I, I wouldn't even be here because I felt so much of that in my life for things I've done. But that's uh, a whole nother subject that I could share with you one on one. Um, I just pray that you're encouraged today and that depression does not get a hold of you. I pray that um, you can find some purpose in today. The Bible says, without purpose my people perish 
And so find some purpose today. I'm volunteering, hopefully, will be used um, at our church to deliver food and pharmaceuticals to people that are shut in. And uh, we'll do that safely, of course. Um, I think the thing that has helped me is if somebody does need someone, a little lady in our tract needed some Kleenex. I live in a over 55 community and I was able to bring that to her um, because I had some extra Kleenex. So I know it's small, but it's something. Uh, if God calls you to do something, the verse that really is striking my heart right now is those who want to those who will lose their life for Christ that they will keep it but those who want to keep their life will lose it and so right now I just want you not to be afraid of losing your life because in that losing of it um, and stopping the self-protection as far as being in fear. Um, we will keep it. And when I say that, even if, again, even if I die today, I know God has me and he is keeping me. I'm not saying to wa not wash your hands or do social distancing or do everything that the government is recommending because that's just prudent and wise. But just be safe. But know that if God's calling you to help somebody, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because he's going to help you in that and he will protect you. I really believe that. If anybody has a Bible today, I pray that you would read Psalm 91 and, and proclaim it over your family and remember that God loves you and that his joy is our strength. Bless you. You have a great Sunday.